Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Mackenzie Sullivan. I am a track athlete at the University of Pittsburgh. This video has been very requested. I've gotten lots of questions on the recruitment process. So I am just going to be telling you guys about my experience and also give you some tips if you yourself are going to be going through the process soon. First, I do want to preface, I am currently a sophomore in college. The peak recruitment period is about your end of junior year, beginning of senior year of high school, and that was 2020. So for me, unfortunately, that is when COVID was beginning and very prominent, and that affected my recruiting process a lot, so I'm going to have a different experience than you would now, but I'm still going to give you everything that I went through and talk about the process. So first I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my recruitment experience. I mainly was being looked at and I was looking into Big Ten and ACC schools. My top four ended up being two Big Tens, two ACCs. Because COVID happened second half of my junior year and lasted all my senior year, my recruitment process was very affected. I didn't get to go on any official visits and it made making a decision very hard because I didn't get to visit any schools really unless I did it on my own. But pre-COVID, beginning of my junior year, I did go on a couple unofficial visits and those were both to the University of Michigan. U of M was really on top of their recruiting. They hosted a lot of unofficial visits, so I did get some visits in under my belt. Of course, it was only to one school, but I did get a little bit of the experience, which I'm thankful for because that is more than what some people my year could say. But because that was all the visits I got once COVID happened, that was the only school that I got that experience with. So it was hard to make a decision not getting to visit any of those other schools I was interested in. With that being said, for me, a lot of it came down to just phone calls with the coaches zoom meetings with their recruits that they were looking at that's why i did a lot with Pitt, and i ended up having to make my decision off of people's word which i don't regret and i definitely am happy with my decision but that was just a very different experience than you will experience now in your recruiting process but i just wanted to lay out my experience for you so that you know where i'm coming from and what i got in high school so getting into just some general things about the process and tips Summer going into your junior year of college is going to be when coaches can start contacting you. This is for track. I think it is different with other sports depending on what time of year your season is. But for track, at least, going into your junior year is when coaches can start reaching out to you, you can have conversations and things like that. Things that coaches are looking for when they are recruiting athletes. Obviously, they are looking for someone with athletic talent, but also athletic potential. Basically, this means you don't have to be an all-American athlete if coaches can see that you have so much more in you than the times that you're giving out now, you still have a chance of being recruited. So know that they aren't just looking for where you're at now because the point of college is to improve. So if they can see that there's potential in you, there's still the chance of you being recruited by schools. They are also looking for people with academic success slash stability. When you are a college athlete, you need to maintain a minimum GPA at all times to be eligible to compete. If you have struggling grades in high school, and obviously academics are going to get more challenging in college, coaches aren't going to likely recruit you because they don't want to recruit someone who at the end of the day is going to have trouble staying at eligible to compete for them. You understand what I mean? So really staying on top of your academics in high school, proving that you are someone who takes your academics seriously and is going to have no trouble remaining eligible throughout your college career is very important when coaches are looking for recruits. And college coaches are looking for people with good character, great work ethic, ambition, drive. They want people that are going to make their team a good environment, are gonna be uplifting, work hard and want to do better for the team. Some coaches are going to ask for references for coaches that you have now, maybe some teachers, family, friends, whatever, just to hear from different people what your character is like because that really does matter. They don't want someone that's going to drag the team down that isn't going to work hard 
obviously those are all very important things that they look for on top of your athletics and academics when recruiting. Next, when you are looking at schools and there's a school that you are interested in and you aren't sure about whether you could walk on or if you could be on scholarship to be recruited, look up the school's recruiting standards. Just about all schools will have that posted somewhere on their website or online where you can see their standards for being recruited and their walk-on standards. So this will give you a good idea based off where you are at now in high school, whether you're a junior or you're a senior, for you to know if you could potentially be recruited by a school that you're interested in or if you could try out for the team and walk on. Along with that, schools will have recruiting questionnaires up on their websites and any school that you're interested in, fill out those questionnaires. It will just ask about the events you do, where you're from, you'll put in your PRs, your best times. Once again, I'm talking about track here specifically because that's what I experienced, but you'll put your PRs, when that meet happened, links to those videos if you have them, things like that, and those will go to the coaches. And that is probably the easiest way for them to find you. You're also gonna want to send emails to college coaches. In these emails, you'll just introduce yourself, let coaches know where you're from, talk about how interested you are in their program. You'll obviously want to list all of your stats, your PRs, all state, all American honors, whatever it is, and include videos of your races. I think emailing is just the best way to immediately show that you are very interested in a school. I actually ended up emailing colleges after my freshman year, which was early because obviously no one could really reach back to me, but I sent those emails just so colleges knew where I was at as a freshman and just expressed my interest. And some of them were, got back to me just saying like, thank you for reaching out. Obviously we can't communicate with you right now, but we appreciate you sending us this email, whatever it is. But then once I became eligible to talk and have conversations with these coaches, I would send an email again, showing obviously my progress from freshman year. And that opened up more communication and I was able to talk with those coaches more. You can also make a highlight video. I know this is common in other sports, not always track and field, I guess. More so with that, you'll just have just individual race videos. But if you are in other sports, or you do field events and you want to make a highlight video, just a compilation of some of your greatest plays or events, whatever it is, then that can be something helpful to include in those emails you send out. It's also a good idea to make profiles on recruitment websites. I got a lot of schools reaching out to me through that. Um, it was more so smaller schools, but I would recommend it just in general. I think I used a website called Be Recruited or something like that, but you can just look up recruiting websites. You'll fill out the profile. You'll do basically everything that you would do in a questionnaire or send in an email. And when coaches are just looking all over the internet for recruits, they will see that profile and your email and phone number will be attached to it and they'll be able to reach out to you. With that being said, I'm going to tell you something that I did that you should not do and it was a very bad mistake. If you are someone that doesn't usually answer your phone if you don't know the number, cause why not? And you don't check your voicemail regularly, that has to change when you are starting the recruitment process cause you are going to get lots of calls from coaches and you need to be answering those calls. I think the day was literally June 1st or something like that going into my junior year when colleges are able to reach out. And I didn't know that and I was just doing whatever. And one random day in June, I decided to check my voicemail. Don't know why, but thank God I did. And I had two voicemails, one from U of M and one from Notre Dame from two weeks ago saying, hey, call us back. So please check your voicemail, pay attention to that stuff, because I know it's not something that you typically think to do now, but you're gonna wanna start. So yeah, don't make that mistake. Another tip for just getting your name out there is to get your coach involved. If you have a club coach, this might be better because they'll just have more connections, at least my coach did, and they were able to communicate with different coaches as well. Say, hey, I have this athlete, you should check them out, whatever. It's just another way to get your name out there. Next, we're just finding the right fit in a school for you. You want to do lots of research just on campus life, about the coaches, team stats, 
everything so that you know that a potential candidate for a school is what you are looking for for the next four years. Obviously sport wise, you wanna make sure athletically that is what you want, but you also have to make sure campus life, school size, and academics, making sure that it has the major that you are interested in, that the school has a good program in that major that you're interested in. You wanna make sure across all areas it is what you are looking for in a school. So the best way to do that is just research and going and visiting these schools. If you aren't going on an unofficial or an official visit through the athletic department, even just going and visiting these schools on your own, just to get a feel for campus life and what that school is like. Another way to go out and visit schools and also get some impressions from the coach is going to summer camps. I know there's some schools that will offer these and if you have the ability to and the opportunity presents itself, then I would suggest going to those camps just because it is run by those coaches, sometimes the athletes, and it is a great way for them to literally see you one-on-one -on -one in action, and that could spark some kind of communication and an offer. So definitely take advantage of those opportunities if you have them. A question that I have gotten is just about if I'm going into my senior year and I didn't really get much recruitment action my junior year if it's too late. And it's definitely not too late. Recruitment still happens your senior year. There are people that don't commit to a college until the very end of their senior year, sometimes the summer. So it's not too late if it's your senior year and you still have a whole nother season. Don't give up, still be emailing coaches. If they see potential in you, if they can see, oh, it looks like this person's gonna have a good season this year, whatever it is, just know it's not too late your senior year for sure. Next, I just wanna talk about phone calls in general. These can be very, very nerve wracking. I know this for sure. My dad was trying to help me with confidence in phone calls and also coming up with questions and phone calls. That's a important thing to consider because obviously the coaches are interviewing you, but you are also wanting to get to know more about them and about the school and the program. So have some questions lined up because not only does it give you more information, but it also shows that coach that you are interested. You can ask questions about your specific event coach. You can ask questions about campus life, about what traveling is like, what a typical practice is like, what kind of nutrition, tutor, therapy resources you get because those are all important things. So have those questions lined up and you can ask them to all of the coaches you call and it will just give you a good idea of what you want and what you don't want and you can write those things down and you can look back at all of the information you got later. Be confident in your phone calls, have fun with it. Even if a smaller coach wants to call you that you aren't super interested in, that happened to me in the beginning and I was like, I obviously don't want to go here, but my dad was like, have a phone call with them, it's good practice. So I would have a phone call with some smaller schools just to get more comfortable speaking to coaches. That set me up pretty good for when I got to conversations with colleges that I was actually interested in. And lastly, for those of you who do get to experience unofficial and official visits, I just want to say enjoy your visits because those are some of the most fun times. You really get spoiled on your visits. You get cool name tag, you know, and you get to walk around, go to football games, see everything on campus, see all the athletic facilities, meet all of your potential teammates. It's a really cool experience. So enjoy that. And also, if you do get some alone time with current athletes, ask them questions. Be real, say you wanna know this, this, and this, and hear what they have to say. Because that's the best way to know what life is really gonna be like once you get to that school from people that are currently at that school. Okay, so those are all the points that I wanted to talk about, all of the tips I had, things about my experience. If you have any more questions that I didn't answer that you wanna know, comment them below and I will definitely try and answer them for you. I wish you all the best of luck in your recruitment process. I hope it goes well. I hope you have a great senior season if you have that coming up this year or next year. Subscribe to my channel if you just wanna see more college athletic content. I post a lot of day in the life vlogs, meet day vlogs, things like that. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe because that helps me out. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.